This video is sponsored by Trugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial stability. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report Today, May 22nd, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. The U.S. consumer is at their breaking point. This may be exactly what the Biden administration wants based on their policies. We all know inflation is through the roof and interest rates are sky high. It is impossible for a first-time home buyer to purchase a home. Car repossessions are moving to all-time highs and home loans that are 90 days delinquent or more are also moving to all-time highs. Let's take a look at two charts that tell more of the tale. First, we're looking at a consumer credit card debt chart in billions. So we have about $1.1 trillion worth of consumer credit card debt based on this over here information. And the consumer has about 2.5% of that debt in savings currently. Now, credit card debt and personal savings were equal in 2002. This was just after the tech crash. Since that time, Consumers have been piling on credit card debt, which is, again, over $1 trillion based on this chart, whereas they have about 2.5% of that in savings, or only about $2.5 billion. This has decreased quite fast over the last 12 months from over a $1 trillion to just a few billion dollars. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what are the chances of these credit cards, these credit card debts of over a trillion dollars being paid back by a consumer that has 2.5% of that money total? Well, let's see. Obviously, first, they used their savings, and when that was gone, they started putting everything on a credit card. What we see here is... 90 day plus delinquencies on credit cards along with credit card rates and these are huge numbers currently we have more than 7 billion consumers that are 90 days or more delinquent on their credit cards we also have credit card rates up right at 22 percent on average higher than we've seen since the early 80s the only time we saw consumers put money back in the bank is when the government sent out checks for the covid right here those are your two checks right there so the consumer is being paid less and less in real wages while interest rates fly up and everyone is 90 days delinquent on home loans credit card loans car loans, etc. Finally, IRA and 401k early distributions and withdrawals are also moving up to all-time highs, proving the consumer has been through their savings and is now going into their retirement funds just to survive. This will not end well, but this will end soon. God bless you and yours, folks. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible in the bizarro world.